starting. We have a number of supplies that we have to gather first before we even start. First thing is your kind of soil. In here we have Maria's Made Compost, it's our soil. We've got pots of all different kinds. We have seeds. We have our writing calendar. We have our markers and our popsicle sticks that tell us what variety we just did. And of course we have water as well because we have to water our flats. Now this containers you're gonna use is very important for every seed. You're obviously not gonna start a seed in something this big, but you might transplant something into here. You're not, pro I would suggest not to use something this small because there's not enough room for enough soil to be put in here, as well as it'll dry out. Something like this would work super. It's already got holes in the bottom and every single one of these potting canisters should have holes in the bottom. Here's a nice container. It's got holes in the bottom and it's called a four pack. It's just the right amount of room to start a seed. I don't really like something too small and I don't like something too thin. The more soil you can put in, the less it dries out, the more it can hold the water and the more the seeds can stay there and grow for a longer period of time. This is probably something that you use in kindergarten, which I really don't recommend. It dries out really quickly because the cardboard imbibes the moisture and the holes are really thin. There's not a lot of soil that you can put in each one of these. And then it's hard to break it apart as well. Here's a great one though. We just had carrot cake in this. <laughs> and this is great. All we did was punch holes in the bottom. We're gonna fill it up with soil and then we're gonna cover it to hold in the moisture until things germinate. So this is the tools we use for starting seeds. In just a little bit of time, I'm gonna show you how to seed down. Right now, I'm gonna seed down lettuce in my favorite kind of flat, which is recycled with holes in the bottom. And I'm gonna fill it up with our Maria compost. And all I'm gonna, and I might as well do my other one too, which is gonna be cucumbers. And if you don't have homemade compost, Scott, what can you use for your growing medium? Really, it's best to buy something from the store, hardware store, garden store. Um, Usually it's called potting soil, right? It's potting soil. Yep. Yeah. And it could be, well, ours is straight compost, which works fine too. Um, I wouldn't suggest you go out and get soil from outside because you don't know what kind of little buggies are in it and what kind of disease it might have or... It's just better to buy something or to have some good compost that you know has been heated up to kill any bad things in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these very filled flats and I'm going to take my seed, which I'm doing Tom Thumb um, lettuce, and just take a small pinch. Remember, it's always better to do a little less than a little more seed. And I'm probably putting in this small flat, I'm putting about 10 seeds in because I'm going to be transplanting them either into a bigger container or directly outside. So I've got that spread and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of compost or soil on top. And why do you do that? Just really to protect the seeds for when I'm watering that they don't wash away and they just, don't dry out as well. Just and a the, little light covering. Just a little light covering. And then I'm gonna write down the variety and on the back side, I'm gonna write the date. That way, if they don't germinate within five days, I'm like, oh, what happened? And also the variety is important because you might like a variety or you might not like it. So it's good to know what you did plant. And there's over 60 varieties of lettuce. So it's nice to try a bunch of different ones. This is for cucumbers. So cucumbers are very hard to put outside because they have very tender roots. So I'm gonna put it in a four pack that has divisions in it. So it's easier to transplant. And I'm just gonna put one seed per cell and one seed per cell and then cover it up. And then as I said, mark it. And this is gonna give me a little bit earlier cucumbers. So I only put four seeds, cover it up, write your marker what it is, and then put it in there and water it and you're ready to go. And then these will be six weeks to go outside and the lettuce is four to five weeks to go outside. And I can do a multiple plantings. I can do these plantings two or three times again at two to three week intervals and get a constant supply of lettuce and cucumbers.
Okay, so now that everybody knows how to start their own seeds, what would you recommend for people to start if they're so inspired by this video? Well, I would definitely start greens right away. And you could start greens every two weeks all the way into September. We have done lettuce, pak choy, spinach, mustards, arugula already and started them in our little packs. And then we move them out into the field and then we start all over again. So in two weeks, we have a constant supply all the way into late October. And how about fun things for little kids maybe? Ah, the best thing for little kids is to get some larger containers to put on your porch or underneath a tree and start things that are container friendly. And you can look in a seed catalog or go to a hardware store or a nursery and you can ask those folks there or research and find plants that do well in containers. There's baby beets, there's little pepper plants that only get this big, there's tomatoes that only get as tall as your waist, but, but you can harvest all through the season. So there's a lot of good container plants. Cucumbers are a wonderful thing to grow and there's even little melons to grow. So those are things you can look in the, on the back of the seed catalog and find out when to start them. So this is a great, great family fun activity and it tastes so good. And you can have taste all year long. Great. Thank you so much. This is incredibly helpful and I hope we have inspired a lot of families to uh, start up their own home gardens. Here's to the seeds.